What's up guys, Alpha here back with another Minecraft resource pack review and today we're going to be reviewing the Mithrentia pack. Now the Mithrentia pack is obviously a more medieval and kind of dark feeling uh, resource pack. It's very very like dark feeling, um, I don't know, it's it's one of one of the ones I used to use a very very long time ago but um, I do notice it's a lot more just like darker and it's a lot more gray. It's, it's close to like the grayer type of builds like using stone and cobblestone and all those type of builds so i think if you were to use like for example make like some sort of a dungeon that required like tons of types of stones i think this texture pack would help you out quite a lot because it has a couple little unique stuff on it as well um it has like a couple blocks that are replaced with uh, different blocks because they're not used um honestly just uh, I believe just the gray and woods I think they all just kind of just blend together but yeah this is 1.7 uh, 1 texture pack um, the link is down in the description if you guys want to go ahead and download it as well as this whole world itself too so you guys can check out all the other portals I'm only going to be heading into the ones that actually matter but there's actually a bunch of other portals that you guys can go ahead and check out as well um, let's go ahead and go into the mobs section which is over here I do think yeah I, they're all retextured now the thing about this texture pack is that some of them, um, or some of the textures ain't texture uh, redone yet, um, but it, most of it is uh, done, and it is 1.7, but they, some of the textures are from honestly, uh, A3's Ascended, and as well as Conquest, I believe. I'm not, I'm not so sure about Conquest, but I know I definitely do recognize some Aether's Ascended, uh, textures in this, uh, Mithrentia pack. So, if you guys uh, are into A3's Ascended, some of them are in this texture pack, and I think some of these mobs look pretty cool. Like, look at this one. Um, so, some of those uh, textures will be in this texture pack, uh, but it looks like this Ender Dragon has not changed whatsoever. But yeah, those are basically some of the mobs here you guys were able to see. Um, but let's actually go ahead and head over to the most important part, which is the blocks. The blocks. Now I'll go ahead and show you guys what I meant by some of them being changed. Now obviously you have your woods here, they're all been redone to the newest version. Um, I haven't actually even seen any of these because I haven't used this texture pack in the longest. It's just one that came up to mind so I went ahead and uh, re-downloaded it but um, these are all the woods all the way up to the newer ones that just released at 1.7. Uh, some of the saplings as well. Uh, let's go ahead and over over here. Uh, let's see now I want to see if I could find some of the blocks. all right so here's like these are all the stained glasses um, obviously they all look the same I don't see anything that's a difference with them but besides these now I'm guessing these could work out for an oriental build as well as this one um, I can't obviously tell what color they are but there are in the texture pack obviously um, I want to see if there's anything else. It looks like water was redone. I don't remember it looking like that. Uh, the pods oil, I think, looks pretty cool. It's just like a muddy texture. Uh, I want to see quartz. Back then, in the old version, 1.6, they used to be, um, they used to be black. And they used to be like a dark, dark color. So, I don't know. I guess they went back to just having it how Aether's Ascended looks like. Because that's how they look like in Aether's Ascended. Um, I know, oh, oh, here's these, um, I think they changed netherrack, is it netherrack? No, the nether brick to just a really, really dark, um, texture, so you guys could see right there, um, so you could use that as for, like, some sort of a gothic build or something like that, um, I'm trying to see if there's any other textures, I know sponge was rechanged, but I can't really tell where sponge is at in this panel, um, if you guys ever run into it. I think it might be this one to be honest because this doesn't look like the hay bale. I think yeah I think it's this one because um, I know it's similar to where it's th that like the hay bale but it just doesn't have the bands uh, let's see where else where else where else I know some like they shine they have like a little animation to them I think it's only that one though don't think that one does yeah that one doesn't do anything uh, da -da -da. yeah that's pretty much it let's go ahead and look over here because there's a couple blocks that are not on this one or not on the other one, on this one. Uh, yeah, I just could see the stained glass. Those are the most n noticeable ones. Uh, the glowstone. 
there's this diamond orange I'll see animated a bit mob spawner mm, I'm trying to see if I could find any uh, do, 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 do. no I think it might have changed back then in the one point uh, yeah I think it was pink wall in the old 1.6 version of um, of uh, of this uh, texture pack the this used to be a stone texture um, but since they, they've updated everything I think they might have just went back to having just normal blocks but it used to have a lot of unique blocks by just replacing replacing ones that you didn't use with uh, ones that you might use so yeah I do find it quite useful um, I don't see any more that are very noticeable yeah I think they might have changed around the sandstone I don't remember it looking like that um, yeah I think that's it let's go ahead and go have a look at the mob no not the mob the item room which is over here right yes over here have a quick look the panel over there is the same here is the kind of wall there's I believe most of them might be default yeah because this is pretty much a building uh, texture pack only there's not used for survival at all so all the items I believe stayed the same they didn't change to what a uh, default looks like so I would say that the armor over here would be the same oh no actually it looks different okay uh, the leather is a bit more different the sword is uh, uh, the same the stone this one kind of reminds me of conquest I think it's conquest I'm not sure but the stone sword stays the same the golden armor looks pretty cool it's the keen type of represent representation uh, but the sword stays the same yeah I think these might be from either Aethers or Conquest yeah especially this one um, here's the iron one it looks like it looks like the one from Aethers Ascended but the, the sword is still the same and then this one looks like the one from Aethers Ascended as well it just looks like instead of all being instead of all of it being blue it's kind of changed around with some gray and stuff like that so it kind of shows some blue and some gray and it kind of looks pretty cool I wish they would have done the swords because I think that would have looked really nice for maybe a PvP texture pack if it's not going to be used for building. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. If you guys want to leave any feedback for any texture packs that you want me to review, leave it down in the um, in the comment section below so I could go ahead and check them out myself and probably upload it to one of these series, um, as well as probably even use it in a Let's Build. Um, but if you guys have any suggestions, so go ahead and leave them down in the comments. And I'll be seeing you guys in the next episode. See you guys later. Bye.